Okay, so let's continue right where we left off. I will though switch that back to photo library and let's do something with that image. And uh, in case you already forgot, uh, don't forget we've got the uh, camera roll placeholder uh, sprite node just uh, on our scene right here. And uh, we're gonna use this uh, momentarily for uh, figuring out basically where to put the image and in what size. So jump back over this way and Inside of here, what we're gonna do is say a let, or actually, we're gonna start this with an if. So it's gonna say if let, and I'm gonna call this camera roll picture. This is gonna equal and put uh, info and oh, info, and then UI image picker controller original image as UI image and then everything else we're gonna contain within that okay uh, well there's a couple other if statements inside of there but uh, those will be contained inside of this so basically we're just trying to make sure that uh, you know what we got out of the camera roll here is uh, is, is definitely a you know a UI image that we can use uh, and then of course we're gonna end up using uh, this data right here now uh, as uh, as our uh, texture uh, so before I guess we can no, let's go and do this now uh, what we're gonna do is write uh, NS user defaults dot standard user defaults dot set object and what we're gonna do is save this image data to the NS user defaults. You might be kind of more familiar with the defaults for saving simple things like sound on uh, equals yes or no, right? Uh, but you can actually save entire images in here. It's, it's just uh, object data. So um, that's what we're going to do. And uh, we put the value inside of here and we give it a key. Okay. Uh, so for the value, we're going to put in here UI image. And this is kind of long. So let me go ahead and see if I can squeeze it all in here. Uh, UI image. And this is going to be PNG representation. And then you're going to put in here camera roll picture and then for key uh, I tend to always like to give my key names oops a what was that <laughs> don't know what that was um, it's not like some crazy long password believe me uh, <laughs> You th there would be an edit right here if it was uh, four key camera roll uh, picture and uh, as I was saying I, I like to put a, a capital for any of my key names so we'll, we're just going to go with the exact same variable name but I'll give it a, a capital C right here and then later on of course we're going to use that key to load back in the image um, so essentially after we've created our after we brought in an image once, what we'll end up doing is bringing it in again just via the defaults. But then, of course, you've got the same, you've got the option to replace it if you want. So that gets us started on that. And actually, we're going to kind of leave the defaults alone for a while. We don't really need to do anything with it until, you know, we were to kind of load back up again. Uh, and now, what we're going to do is write in here if masking camera roll choice equals false. And remember, this is going to be. Uh, basically our if else statement to uh, determine whether or not we're gonna uh, mask what we you know the image that we get out of this so um, I'll just put a little short out here um, if we aren't going to mask it and uh, by default right now we just have this set default so let's go ahead and uh, do that and this is of course the simpler of the two versions so uh, uh, what we're gonna do is write let text not text sorry uh, text as in texture is going to equal sk texture and we're going to do this uh, via an image you can see when you start typing in here just I it's going to fill an image it gives you the choice of UI image well that's convenient because that's what we got out of our controller original image so just hit return there and then of course you're going to put in here your camera roll picture and you're so close to getting this thing on the stage now we're going to say let new image this is going to be sk sprite node this is going to equal sk sprite node texture of course you can create a sprite node with a texture and which is what we just created right there so we're just going to put in there text or text <laughs> 
So yeah, now I'm doing it. Uh, new image dot name. I'm gonna give this a uh, name, and might as well just give it the same name that we've been kind of using here. Camera roll picture. Uh, and uh, what we'll end up doing is if you create another, or if you basically pick something else out of the camera roll later, we'll put a little if statement up here that um, checks to see if this is on there already, and if so, we'll just delete it off. Uh, but otherwise. Let's proceed. Add child, new image, and just for right now, let's go ahead and test it as is, uh, and then we'll worry about uh, sizing up the the image that we brought in up to that of the uh, of our placeholder image. So just uh, click anywhere, and oops, what did I forget to do here? And uh, oh, um, well. Don't think. Reading that, it actually makes a lot of sense. It's uh, you always got to look at the last thing you did, and that would be putting in this little line about uh, the camera device. Uh, we do need to make sure that uh, if we're going to run that line of code, that the, our source is actually the camera. So we're going to have to say if source equals uh, dot camera here, and I let's see if we can get away with just writing dot camera. We might have to put in the whole thing. Let's find out. Okay, all right, so it's a good sign. And let me grab out one of our images here. Whoa. Bum, bum, bum. We've got a background. Pretty sweet, huh? And uh, you know what's kind of odd about that, actually, is that uh, what, a, what layer is this? I mean, it, it. We didn't specify a Z depth for it, so is that it? That's a negative ten. Unlock node. I must have put this. Well, that's that's kind of interesting. I would have thought that the background would have gotten placed above our little furry guy right here, but that's okay. I mean, I'd actually want that to be the case, but I'd kind of want to make sure that. I'd specifically put in there a, a layer higher. You know, when you add your children to a uh, scene, they're going to get uh, added at uh, at z at the z depth or z depth of zero. If you don't uh, put one in, it's just usually the one that you put in uh, most recently is going to replace any other ones that are at uh, the same value. All right, so uh, that is something to consider. But you know, we're going to use the the data from the placeholder right here to determine things like the size and the uh, the z position. So uh, let's go and do it. So what I'm going to put in here is if let placeholder sk sprite node. This is going to equal self dot child node with name, and the name that I'm looking for is camera roll place. Holder as, oops, as, as, SK sprite node. Of course, that's, uh, there we go, make it look a little bit prettier for you. And uh, otherwise, what we'll do is, if you didn't put this in here as, a, as an SK sprite node, you could still uh, work with it if there is a, a placeholder, okay? So what we'll do is, um, kind of, I'll just copy, Excel copy that much out of it. And then we'll make our place. So we'll check to just, I mean, we'll just make it an SK node. Anything in the scene is really going to be an SK node. So you don't actually have to test to see if it's as SK node at, at there. Uh, in which case, <clears throat> you've got your, uh, you know, we're just checking for a, a child node with the name uh, camera roll placeholder. And what on earth are you complaining about right here? What? Uh, else? Oh, yeah, right. I got gotcha. you. Else, if. Uh, and then, you know, we've already actually added it here. So if neither of these conditions are true, or like we don't have a camera whole placeholder at all, uh, it's okay. As you saw, it's already going to do its thing. But uh, just keep in mind that if you, uh, if you did want to just put in here like an empty placeholder, that's how you would do it. You just grab out empty from here. And of course, you could give it the same name as uh, the other placeholder. I mean, well, you're going to choose one or the other, but it would be camera roll placeholder right so uh, but let's get rid of that guy and come back over here all right so let's assume that we're working with the SK sprite node because that's what we've got in there so we're gonna say new image dot position is gonna equal our placeholder dot uh, position and actually I'll just do this in the same order I have my notes 
So this did not have any problems. Placeholder dot Z position. So that's where we're setting the Z position. And then new image dot size. This couldn't get any easier. Placeholder dot size. There we go. Clean that up just a wee bit. And then we'll just uh, copy this uh, down here. And of course, you don't want to make the size of that of an empty node, but you can use the Z position and the, uh, the dot position. And let's see what happens. Okay, so clicking down, and I'm going to go pick out a uh, another image here. And what? Look at that. So you almost don't even need the mask. Let's just go home. Uh, now, of course, we're going to deal with with that in, in, in just a moment. But, uh, yeah, it looks like what an Ewok kind of dreams about, doesn't it? You know, waterfalls, some sort of beach. There's no trees around, no speeder bikes. So, uh, yeah, let's um, let's continue going. Uh, we're going to look at uh, now what's going to happen is if we decide to actually uh, mask this guy. And in which case, let's go back over here to our main file. We're going to switch this over here, here to being true. So then uh, it's as if none of this ever happened. And uh, what we'll end up doing here is... Now keep in mind, this... This is only going to happen. Uh, this code here only happens when you pick out a new image. Okay, so uh, at this point, I'm going to start to play around with the defaults because remember, we we always want to be able to kind of save where you reposition the mask at. Uh, so one of the things we're going to do is write in here new mask uh, string. This is going to be a string value, and I'm going to make it equal to. Uh, zero zero okay and um, I'm gonna save this to the uh, NS user default you know uh, by about now we should probably consider just making a variable for our user defaults and what we're gonna end up doing here is is basically just kind of resetting the the offset value of where our mask is going to be at, at and if you remember we already created a variable in here called mask offset uh, and um, but to save it as a NS user default let's just go with saving it as a, as a string type and we'll just do the conversion later on we'll explain later but uh, while we're here let's go ahead and uh, just put in here that, uh, that we're going to be using uh, our NS user default we're going to make a variable for our NS user defaults and Let's see, come back over this way. So this is going to be a var defaults and that'll be ns user defaults. And then this is just going to equal our, oops, our ns user defaults. And that's, I'm waiting for an error or something like that. I don't think it's going to come. So good. that's a good sign. Uh, and we should then at that point be able to just re replace that with uh, defaults.setObject. And then right down here, we can start putting in here uh, defaults.setObject. So we're going to put in here new mask string for key. And to kind of like really drive this home, I mean, if you're having some confusion right now why we're setting the defaults the, the defaults persist throughout the lifespan of the app okay so uh, when we open it and close it you know these even if we were to complete completely quit the app your defaults are, are still going to get end up getting saved so it's kind of like variables that are going to pers persist over you know just infinitely unless you were to actually delete the app uh, so that's why we're saving our our, our mask you know or offset values to uh, to that and we'll just worry about this one for right now so this is going to set it back to uh, zero zero and, and you know assume maybe you had adjusted it um, later on down the road when that was possible and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait 1 60th of a second before we reveal our mask and you know I'm a cautious programmer occasionally and that's really kind of where this is coming from. I, I think it's just a good idea to just wait one little beat. That's all it is. You're not even going to notice it before we reveal our mask. Because I'm going to actually end up pulling it out of the defaults. Okay. 
and at least with my testing on some pretty crummy uh, old devices things tend to work out pretty well so I think we're a-okay to do that and here we go I'm gonna make a function called uh, reveal <laughs> this is a long one masked camera roll image and uh, when we do that, uh, what I'm going to do is also pass in here a, uh, a, a value for the, well, eventually I'm going to pass in here a value for the, the what mask image we're going to use. But I guess for right now, we'll just leave that alone. We'll just call this as it as is. And uh, keep in mind that when you're looking at um, a, a line that, like um, this SK action that's just going to basically perform more code, uh, you can if it looks a little confusing to you like this just think of it more like this okay so it's kinda like you know put it in the it sort of looks like an if statement here now right where we've got our opening and closing brackets and then our code in between here so you know you can leave it like that if you want and, and that's really you know kind of the format of almost all of your block formatting uh, and then um, and uh, now I'm thinking about it, we didn't even really explain that much about these uh, SK actions, but we're creating creating a sequence here, and what we're doing is we're just going to wait, and then we're going to run, and to make that happen, we finally come down here and we write self run action, and then our final one there sequence. So it's going to wait, run, do all this, and that's uh, that's actually all we're going to do, uh, at least for right now, when we grab an image, and of course. We need to then come down here and actually write our function for revealing the masked camera roll image. So we're going to come down here, reveal masked camera roll image. Keep in mind down the road, what we'll end up doing is uh, passing in the the mask value, right? You know the, the and of course that's this data that I refer to, the actual mask. But uh, for right now, we'll just kind of hard code that in. And it's uh, this is um, yeah, it's a little bit of code. Let's see how much time we got here. Well, this is a rather long function. I think I'd like to dedicate a most of, of a video to it without rushing through it. But uh, what we can do though is uh, first consider uh, kind of jumping to this point if we know that our scene has already got a placeholder in it in it for the. Uh, camera roll placeholder right so let's take this bit of code right here and I'm gonna uh, put this back over here into our game scene file okay so if we detect a placeholder uh, with the um, or a play I should say a placeholder that is an SK sprite node um, in, in my coding what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna require that uh, if you're gonna be using the masking version of this that we do have a placeholder with an actual size so we kinda know you know how to you know squish or squash our uh, mask within it and uh, in which case then what we'll do is, uh, is I'll also just put a little if statement here here that says if uh, a masking camera roll choice equals true and let's face it in most situations where you're doing this you, you're either gonna it's gonna be masked or not I mean you're gonna you know let's say you're making a storybook app if, if the whole point of this is to put some kids face inside of a gorilla you know you're gonna mask that thing out uh, so uh, I don't mind hard coding this in here and then what we'll do is we'll, we're gonna reveal our masked uh, camera roll image and keep in mind too that this could also you know we're gonna put in here the mask it's basically just a string value and that too could be something that we saved to the default as you know the, the the most recent whatever mask that you chose the the one that fits the gorilla head or whatever uh, so yeah okay uh, this is I mean there's really nothing we need to do here I mean it's gonna tell us that's interesting Well, there's another way of writing that. I mean, since we're not using that placeholder, I guess what we could just do is put um, if self that child know it as does not equal nil. It's probably the same thing, right? Okay, so yeah, that's fine. Both of those would work, and it's it's right to tell me I screwed up. Uh, okay, so I'll come back in a new video where you get to listen to me ramble on for another 20 minutes about revealing this masked camera roll image. But now nah, there's plenty more we're going to do.